No, I just think that they're, they're so funny. They're so yeah. funny. No, so funny. It's so funny. And the writers on the show are so fucking funny. Like, I'm yeah. like dying. Like, What's when the they, show called? It's called Sorry Not Sorry. Oh, yeah. good name too. Yeah. What network? Um, it's on seriously.tv. Seriously. Yeah. Well, what? See, you, you see what he just said? I said his energy network? right there. What network? Like, because he wants to know, like, <laughs> right? Yeah. The show business. Can I get audition? Can I get audition? See what I'm saying? Background <laughs> extra. Background <laughs> extra. So angry and so resentful, so young. It's so sad. Hey, it's Asian on TV. Can you man. not be happy for people? I'm happy for <laughs> Esther. Are you sure? Yeah. I have a question for all three of you guys. Yeah. Since everyone's in the industry. When and you, you are see, too, so by the way. No, fuck. So. I'm, not an, I'm not a comedian. You're, I'm not a podcast celebrity. You're, you're, you're in the fucking industry. You're a podcast and I'm tired celebrity. of this shit that you fucking do every fucking day. Like, I'm just, you know, a girl. I don't even know what I'm doing. I you're have, a part of, you're a celebrity you, can now. Can you listen to the fucking you're question? Celebrity. <laughs> you're a fucking celebrity, okay? Right. My question is, when you see another Asian, like you've never heard of before, let's say, for instance, like someone your age mm -hmm. and who's also doing sketch, who's like me dab dabbling in stand-up, where you see like a, a younger, like female like um, stand up comedian, do you do you get your spikes go up, or are you more like, hey, like you do you want to get to know them and nurture them? Or are you more like, who, what what is this bitch about? Uh, <clears throat> like another stand up? Yeah, like do you feel like an <clears throat> initial threat, Asian. or do you feel a like, like an Asian girl Asian. that's cute? Yeah, right. Um, I think I'm curious. What's wrong? <coughs> is it the cats? I have a cough. She's mm. highly allergic to cats, by the way. We yeah, gave her yeah. Allegra. You okay? No, no, no. I had an Allegra. Okay, oh, thank good. you. Oh. Yeah, good. Like there's a San Francisco girl, girl named Moon. You know her? No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We went and got tacos. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's, yeah, but she seems, you know, funny, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I've never seen her perform. Me either, but you but, can just tell though. Right. Because of the yeah. way she's dressed, and that's another thing I was saying is is that you can already tell that when she talks and the way she looks and who she's dating and how she behaves that she's not a fucking fob. Oh, what is it? Okay, right. what She's is the wearing, real definition of a fob other than fresh, fresh off, off the boat? boat right? I know. So, yeah, okay. there's, energy. there's two different yeah. kinds, all right? There's the literal kind mm -hmm. yeah. of, of somebody that just came here. You know what I mean? They're from like, you know, Taiwan, right? And they <clears> and they have a thick accent and they... And they shower once a week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, or whatever. Yeah. But they don't know... They don't know what... They Lack don't of know, indoor plumbing. They don't know OK Computer... Oh, come no, on, just listen to what I'm saying. They don't Get just the listen to what I'm saying. Here. They've never seen a Wes Anderson movie. Oh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. I'm talking. They, I'm talking, okay? And they don't know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, who you? Who you, so? Who you? Yeah, who, who you? you? I think we finally yeah. figured out why yeah. you don't like fobs. No, no. <laughs> they don't know they who don't you know are. Yeah. That's not why, right? <laughs> no, but then there's that kind. And then there are the ones that were born here, right? I'm going to name a name, but I grew up with a guy named John, right? The nicest kid. John Gubangu. John yeah, Lee. Yeah, oh. yeah, what? John Gubangu. Yeah. And That's he, my brother. That is, really? Yeah. And he always got straight A's. My parents would always go, why don't you hang out with him? He's smart. You do. You get better credit. You know, you do drug. That's why I don't hang out with him. Because he's just... He doesn't go out. All he does is read. He's going to become a doctor and whatever. Don't they call those like, so fobs are generally like the 1.5ers, right? That, that generation where they probably came to the U.S. right around like 13, 14. So they still retain all of their like, they say, for instance, like for me, like they're, you know, like yeah. my accent or like my mannerisms I didn't shave my legs. I was very like studious. And then. Um, but then you acclimated. Yeah, but it took me a while. My accent was very, very thick most of my teen years, and I had like a weird look. I dressed not cool. But then you started blowing guys. I started blowing guys really yeah. quickly. I was really insecure <laughs> yeah. about my fogginess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, fuck, let me just suck some dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it American. worked. Yeah, you wow. became American. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. I was like, really? Because my parents never like talked about sex or anything of that sort. You know, So I had to figure a lot of stuff out on my own. And initially, when I first came from America, I would write boys letters like, hey, I like you because that's what we did in the Philippines, right? Mm. That shit don't fly here. Yeah. Apparently, you don't write letters because you're, you're a fucking weak bitch if you do that. And, and so I got letter. rejected and re after <laughs> right. each rejection. So I was like, oh, let me just suck your dick and it worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The American way. Yeah, it's that's American the, way. It you just, American yeah, way. just blow your way to, you know, <laughs> out of your fobbiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. 
Yeah. Blow your way out of fob. Yeah. yeah, and then all of a sudden I wasn't a fob anymore. I was just a, a, a chicken head, you know? That's what they should have that in like a yeah. booklet, like yeah. an American from booklet. When you come back to America, to like a little yeah. what's, how the, to. what's the first thing for when you come to It wouldn't to be blowing, wouldn't be the first thing, but that would be like in the back pages. Yeah. <laughs> like like an asterisk and a little like red in red yeah. and tiny check font. Check this out. Yeah, yeah check this Advanced. out. Right, yeah. but Advanced, meanwhile, yeah. writing a letter, you put so much heart into writing a letter. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and I remember this one emotions. Puerto Rican guy named Gary. He was like, what the oh. fuck is this? Never met a Puerto you know? Rican named, named Gary. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Gary. He's Hi, from Gary. New York, too. <laughs> no, he's not. I was so in love. Yeah, yeah. And that was just not the way to go. But I think letters are a woman thing. No, I think it's a fob thing, maybe because none of the kids. Yeah, in my but she high writes letters. It. I write letters, and I was born here. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, so you know, Moon is, you know, you can just tell. And so, um, how do you feel if you see like when you were younger? I know now you're a little bit better about seeing like another no, Asian. Uh, on okay, TV. I'm gonna just say this right now. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna just say this right now. Mm-hmm. When I did Jay Leno, right, the next day. A guy calls me, right? An Asian guy from New York. And he was represented by Barry Katz. You know Barry Katz? Yeah. And he goes, hey, dude. I just saw your Tonight Show, dude. I'm Korean, too. And um, you fucking killed it. I go, what? He goes, yeah, my name is Steve Byrne. He's half. Oh. Wow. I didn't even know him, mm-hmm. right? He goes, I, I begged my manager. He was rep by Barry Katz to get your number and you know, I just want to be your friend. No way. That's yeah. cool. And so, and I, I was like that when Ken Jung. When I first saw Ken Jung, mm-hmm. I go. I sent Ken Jung a MySpace message. You did? Yeah. <laughs> so this was ten years ago. This was ten years ago. Really funny. He said yeah. thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you, you, you know, you see guys and you go, oh. But then when it's but when you see somebody that isn't doing the doing it the way you want, like there was a guy named Peter Chen. And you, you you met Peter Chen, yeah, right? I, I feel so bad because Peter Chen was here during the eighties, during the boom, <clears throat> open mic. He had a thick accent. You know what I mean? You mm-hmm. can look he has a documentary on YouTube yeah. about him. He oh. made it himself. Oh, I thought you okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. And he I mean, nice guy, just a terrible comedian. Mm-hmm. Thick accent. And he had he made up like, you know, when hecklers, he made up lines that didn't make any sense. Right, so um, hey, you suck. All right, so I'm uh, so anyway. You suck, saying, Peter. You suck. Oh, I'm gonna put you on a rocket ship. You're gonna go to go to the moon. But <laughs> that was that was his slam. Yeah. Like he would write slams. <laughs> <laughs> what would be another one? What? what would be another one? Hey, your mom is a gross. Man. I dig a hole in the ground. You go in. I dig you. You you can dig your way out. What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Peter? What does that mean? Stuff like that. <laughs> like stuff that you would go. Oh my god, that's so not funny. Yeah. You know, and then one day I was at the open mic and he, they put, you should put, just put me up at the open mic and he had signed up and he had been there for 25 years or whatever. So I remember him approaching me, going, this guy right here, only been here for two years. I've been here for 25 years. You know, you know and he, he get to go up. And I, go, I go, you're not funny. <laughs> right? Oh like, my God. So it's like that, with that kind of shit, I'm verbal about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When I see people that I think have like you, I when I genuinely think that you have genuine, I can't look at you when I give you a compliment. I, know, I can't. I, so I'm gonna I, go. To, I, I I'm gonna look to your to right a little bit. Esther. No, I'm gonna look at you. Yeah, to the right a little bit. But Gilbert, <laughs> I genuinely think that you have genuine talent and that you you literally can make it. I feel that about Esther. I also. saw Gilbert at the CBS Diversity Showcase. And he was, he was amazing. I don't want this to be a fucking we're God. the great. Like this is sounding sad. This fucking I podcast, but I'm just saying that's my point. Okay, I I barely give compliments. Let me just give one. All right, Thank that's you. true. So if you saw an Asian girl, <laughs> Esther, if you saw an Asian girl that was good, that you would probably support her then. You know what? I am always curious because there's so few of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think it's good to embrace other people the way you embrace me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has Margaret embraced you or no? Um, You know what? I stalked her one time. (laughs) Well, don't. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. But does she know who you are? Um, Well, she follows me on Twitter. Oh, Oh, yeah. Well, she does. Yeah. 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 (laughs) She's so happy. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I did it. I remember when she when her sitcom All American Girl got canceled. Yeah. And you're probably a kid. Yeah, I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. And I was watching this on TV and I remember thinking like this is a big deal. The first mm-hmm. Asian American to mm-hmm. ever get a sitcom. It was a huge deal. It was huge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And I remember they were interviewing her. They're like, so Margaret, what are you going to do now? And she's like, well, I'm just going to keep kicking ass till the next Asian American girl gets up here. Yeah. And I just like took that and like. I know. Damn. You know, and you're going to make me cry now. I was like, I was like, oh, I'm going to. She's speaking to me. I just, yeah. I just like, just took it. Yeah.